Missing. It's her. It's Cicely. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> what happens now? Get the damn thing out of the ground carefully. Great. Well done. You know what this means. What we found here. What we found. I didn't see you in the trenches, Christopher. Well, no. Why don't you leave things to the professionals? Three cheers. Hip hip. Hey. Hooray! Jared, I'd like to buy everyone in the place a drink. Drink time. What would you like? Congratulations. Another triumph, I hear. Darling, when did you get here? Not a moment too soon, apparently. So, who wants a drink? I'm buying. We don't want a drink. We don't want your stupid dig. And we don't want you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's keep our hands to ourselves, shall we? Rhiannon, please. Not uh, joining in the celebrations, Peter. I suppose you haven't got much to celebrate. No, but um, don't let that stop you. Although, aren't you um, just a guest at this party? Champagne for everyone. <laughs> you took your time. Two match points. Cam, I thought you just wanted a bit of a knock up. Yeah, I'm just clearing a few cobwebs before I face a real opponent. Who's that then? Just someone I've never managed to beat before. 
Now, are we playing or are we talking? Uh, all right. Match caramel. I don't think so. DS Nelson. I'm on my way. Sorry, Cam. Gonna have to finish this another time. What do you mean finish? I won. Charlie. Oh. Tennis? Hmm. At this ungodly hour? Every morning this week. Although probably not after today. Cam will be too busy. Harry arrives tonight. Harry? Her boyfriend. He's one of your lot. A police officer? Mm -hmm. I had no idea. She's going to be showing him the bright lights of Corston. Both of them? It all sounds very energetic. Let's leave them to it. <clears throat> How about we don't waste our morning? Mm -hmm. We could do all those little jobs. Kitchen cupboard, porch light, wobbly chair. Oh, just five more minutes. <laughs> Maybe ten. <laughs> what? The victim is Dr. Zoe Dyer, lead archaeologist on the Midsummer Sicily dig. What are they digging for? The last resting place of the Protestant martyr Cicely Milson. Hence the name of the village. Dr. Dyer had a room in the local pub, the Rose and Chalice. The archaeology team had gone there for a drink last night before turning in. Everyone assumes she'd done the same thing. But she came up here, why? Uh, we're looking for her phone, see if we could shed some light on that. But Uniform found a half-empty bottle of champagne over there. We have a time of death? Well, based on the body and ground temperatures, I'd say between 11 and 1. And do we think this was an attempt to conceal the body? No, I think it was how Dr Dyer was actually killed. Making the digger the murder weapon. Who had access to it? Everyone. The keys had been left in the site office. We're hoping for some forensic evidence from the cab. There are signs of struggle, but no obvious defensive wounds. She was unconscious? Probably. I'll know more later. Thanks, Cam. She's all yours. Who found the body? Dr. Penny Henderson. Do you have any idea why Dr. Dyer would be here late at night? That was Zoe. First on site and last to leave. And she just had the find of her career. The remains of uh, Cicely Milson. It's a very significant find. We should have kept it quiet. This site was already attracting attention from the wrong sort of people. And who are the wrong sort of people? Do you know what night hawks are? Illegal metal detectorists. We get them on every dig. It gets worse every year. And we should have known this site was going to be particularly plagued with them. And why would that be? Because they think there is actual buried treasure here. And is there? Cicely Milson was executed for heresy. The family fled to France. And the rumor is they buried their money, the Milson hoard, in the grounds of their house, but they never returned. You think Dr. Dyer disturbed someone treasure hunting? It's possible. Campsite down the road is full of the usual sorts. Uh, your team told me about an incident in the pub last night. One of the locals went for Zoe. Our dig assistant, Dexter, got involved. The locals have made it clear that we're not welcome here. I've never been on a dig this important before. I didn't know things could get so heated. What happened? Uh, we were celebrating finding Sicily, but the villagers weren't. The woman who runs the campsite where I'm staying had a bit of a go. Quite nasty. What time was that? Early on. It was just after Zoe's husband had arrived. Why was this woman so upset? Because we'd found Sicily. Isn't that good news for the village? No. They already claimed to have their own Sicily. I'm sorry? on display in the church crypt. It's a pretty big deal around here.
Hiya. Hi. I'm sorry, we're actually full at the moment. I love her. We've had a couple of people move on this morning. I've got a lovely pitch for you. Top corner of the field, nice and quiet. Okay? Great. What do you do that for? You know why they're here. So? So? I don't want their sort on my site. We can't afford to turn anyone away. It's nearly Sicily Day. We should have plenty of guests and they'll be the right kind. Anyone who pays, that's the right kind. Mr. Dyer, can you tell us why anybody might want to harm your wife? Absolutely not. She lived and breathed archaeology. It was our life. We'd done over 15 digs together. But not this one. What do you mean? You only arrived in Midsummer Sicily last night. Not all archaeological work takes place at the dig. There's research and lab work as well. Did your wife tell you she was coming up here last night? No. It was you and your wife's first night together for weeks, but she came up here apparently alone. She'd had a big find. She was excited. And when she didn't join you in your room? We actually had separate rooms. Why was that? It's quite simple, really. When Zoe's on a dig, she gets up very early. We didn't want to disturb each other. Mm. I realize you're eager to carry on your work, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to close down and leave the site. It is now a crime scene. Any physical activity could uh, compromise physical evidence. Uh, can we at least photograph and catalogue our finds from yesterday? We can do that away from the trenches. I am prepared to allow one member of your team on site, but they must confine their activities to the site office. Some of my men will be here to make sure that happens. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to speak to the landlord of the pub and find out exactly what happened last night. I'll go to the campsite. Sorry she's dead. I'm not sorry I gave her a piece of my mind. Can I ask why? Because she had no respect. Respect for what? The village. And things that make our village special. Like our church in Sicily Day. They're the things that we care about, but Zoe Dyer didn't. You seem to have taken this very personally. She's not the only one. We're all upset. For Peter. Peter Corby, the vicar. He made this village what it is. Where did you go after you left the Rosen Chalice last night? Straight home. Mr. Sawney? Yeah. I came home too. Let's see if there's anyone about. Looks like you've got a few amateur archaeologists to go with the professional ones. Hmm. Everyone should have a hobby. As long as they keep it legal. Police everywhere. All over the village. Up at the dig. Don't worry, Mum. They'll lose interest and move on. Detective Chief Inspector Barnaby, Coulston CID. Your mother seemed really upset by recent events. Everyone has been. Can you tell me what happened here last night? Not much. People were trying to have a quiet drink, but the uh, dig lot had other ideas. Was there hostility towards the archaeologists? Look, this is a really big week for the village. Always is when we're getting ready for Sicily Day. Now, if Dr Dyer had thought about that for one second, then maybe she'd have been a little bit more sensitive. But I get the feeling that wasn't really her strong suit. She seemed to enjoy ruffling feathers. It 
Sicily is quite the tourist attraction. I can see why Zoe Dyer's dig isn't popular. Uniform have recovered her phone. They're sending it to tech for analysis. Very good. I think it's time we spoke to the Reverend. Hello again, Mrs. Horton. I wonder if we could speak with Reverend Corby. I'm sorry, I'm afraid that's not possible at the moment. He's leading a private prayer group. I'm sure he could make time. He's with some pilgrims here to see the Holy Relic. Still, I'm sure he won't mind being disturbed on this occasion. Follow me. Sicily spent three weeks at the hands of her interrogators. We can only imagine what they subjected her to. As you can see, they maimed her by taking away one of her toes. But we know she suffered a great deal more besides. Yes, Zoe Dyer's presence did cause some disquiet. And some embarrassment, I should imagine. She claimed she'd uncovered the remains of Cicely Milson. I don't know who the poor unfortunate of the dig is, but it's not Cicely. Are you an archaeologist, Reverend Corby? No. I'm a man of faith. A faith that was rewarded at a moment of great need. By finding Cicely? I inherited all souls in a very poor state. I worked night and day to win back my congregation, and I decided a community project might help. A flower bed. A gift that everyone might enjoy. The rose garden as you come into the village? A memorial to Sicily. That was where we found her. Whilst gardening. I understand your scepticism, but the church has long survived its cynics and doubters. Indeed, one of them is my own brother. Uh, Christopher is the reason Dr. Dyer was here. And why is that? Like you, he struggled to believe my version of events. He's determined to prove me a liar. Surely he must think he's achieved his goal. A hollow victory, I suspect. Christopher was never very good at sharing his toys. Now, you don't understand. It's my find, my research. So I will be writing the damn book. Listen, you have to excuse me. I couldn't believe it when I heard. She was such an inspiration. And now, uh, I can never underestimate how far these fanatics will go. It's this way. And uh, much as it pains me to believe that my own brother would preside over this kind of violence. Well, so much for brotherly love. Let me assure you that Peter doesn't love anybody except himself. He's only interested in people if he thinks they've got something he wants. Such as? This. My research into Cicely Milson. Peter was utterly indifferent to it until he realised that he could use it to save his damn church. You feel Peter appropriated the legend? Suddenly there were sermons about the poor martyred Milsons, and then he discovered the miraculous bones. Twenty years of research turned into a sideshow. So you must have been pleased to have Dr. Dyer's team take a genuine interest. Oh, yes, absolutely. Although I suppose Zoe Dyer was also using your research to further her own interests, just like Peter. No, entirely different. Her interest was purely academic. So this was quite a find. A culmination of 20 years' work. I don't want to see your ugly faces again. Come on. Caught another couple of your mates on my land. I warned you what had happened the last time. They're not my mates. They're guests. Paying guests. I know who they are. And I know what they're up to. 
I better not catch them on my land again. So it seems that Zoe Dyer was poised to debunk the village's holy martyr. Did the killer want to silence her? Reverend Corby worked very hard to build the legend of Sicily. He has a lot to lose. As do the villagers. Sicily Day is big business there. Could one of the parishioners have proved their loyalty with murder? Perhaps. But the uh, discovery of the skeleton constitutes a significant find. So? We can't rule out professional rivalry. No. And I get the feeling that Zoe Dyer's professional success wasn't mirrored in her relationships. We need to take a closer look at her private life. Hello? Is someone there? Hey! Sir, is everything all right? God, you gave me a... Hey, get out of there! This is disgraceful. You had officers here and we're still coming under attack. I advise that the site be cleared, Mr. Dyer. We were just trying to do our job. I don't think that's too much to ask, do you? Not in the slightest. Did you see anything at all? It was pitch black. Do you have any idea what they've taken? Well, it's hard to tell without a full inventory, but certainly some of the coins we've excavated and some of our equipment. Thank God they didn't get Sicily. They're trying to scare us off. If you were to concentrate on excavating the skeleton, what would that involve? <sighs> Once she's been exposed and photographed, we can get her out of the ground fairly quickly. 48 hours. Alex, I don't think... It's 48 hours, but no one comes here after dark or alone, and I want a list of what was stolen, as much detail as possible. Listen, I want to push ahead with the new surveys, and the existing trenches will need to be picked over again. Alex, they've just said... I heard. 48 hours. No time to waste. Thank you. There was a complaint made to the local station about Hannah Dewsborough, the farmer who owns this land. What was the nature of the complaint? She frog-marched two men back to the campsite with the aid of a shotgun. A couple of night hawks. Take some officers up there and conduct a search. Find out where people were at the time of the murder and late last night. I'll speak to Ms Dewsborough. Right. Search the tents and the vehicles. You know what you're looking for. What's happening? There was an attack on the dig site last night. I'd be surprised if anyone here had anything to do with it. Is there anything we can do to help? Let's start with a look at your guest register and we'll take it from there, shall we? I never would have said yes to that damn dig if I'd known how much trouble it was going to be. When you say trouble, what do you mean? <laughs> It's been like Causton High Street round here ever since they arrived. They were supposed to stay out of my way. They being the archaeologists? They'd only been here for five minutes and I was chasing those other beggars off my field. The metal detectorists? They've been here at all hours. So I had a word with the boss lady. Zoe Dyer? Now, how did that conversation go? Perfectly civil. Where were you last night? 
where I am every night, at home, reading the good book. Are you a member of the All Souls Congregation? Since I was born. Probably till they fit me for my pine box. Thank you. Oh, I understand you own a shotgun. Yes, and a licence for it. I keep it under lock and key. Please make sure you do, Miss Dewsborough. I don't want any more complaints about threatening behaviour. Doesn't anybody think that we should discuss recent events and their impact on our plans for Sicily Day? Someone has died. And whilst I don't suggest this slightly, I think we should scale back on the celebrations this year. What do you mean, scale back? I think we should consider what is appropriate. Appropriate? I see. Obviously, I have no issues with anything religious in tone. I just feel that anything jubilant is perhaps in poor taste. You've got to be joking. Some of us have been working on all this for weeks, months. And you just want to cancel. You never said you wanted to cancel. You're being hysterical. Hysterical? Bartholomew makes a good point. We wouldn't want it to look like we were celebrating what's happened. Oh, what, we? Valerie, someone Ladies, is... Please. First of all, I'd like to thank Bartholomew for both his honesty and his courage in speaking up. Thank you, Peter. We are indeed living through some dark times. However, I feel we should carry on as we always have, with joy in our hearts and with a warm welcome for everyone wishing to thank Sicily. All those in favour of carrying on as planned with Sicily Day. Good. Nice to see you all in this together, as it should be. It's a troubled path you're choosing, Bartholomew. I'm not the one in trouble. Be sure that your sins will find you out. What you have to appreciate is now that we've actually found Sicily, this project has international significance. I understand that. That means dealing with academic establishments from around the world. We'll need to apply for more funding. Perhaps set up a Sicily Milson legacy fund. Sounds eminently sensible. Well, I'm glad you agree. I know it must be disappointing to have come so far with us. Tony? I don't understand. I'm still part of this. In many, many ways. But I think going forwards... You, you, you can't do this to me. I really wish I didn't have Look, to. It's my research that brought you here. It's not just time I put into this. I, I put my money in. Those aerial photographs... I lost my wife. I'm sorry, Christopher. You just don't have the skills or the contacts to finish what you started. Excuse me. She was incapacitated with chloroform before she was buried, but appears to have regained consciousness before she died. There was soil in her trachea and her lungs. She would have suffocated within minutes. Suggests a certain amount of premeditation. Still, a nasty way to kill someone. A planned murder suggests that they knew she'd be up there. Well, we got two sets of prints from the champagne bottle found near the body. The victims and an incomplete set that we're yet to match. We really need to know who she was sharing with. I'll try and get some DNA from the neck of the bottle. And let me know as soon as you have anything. Tech have managed to download Zoe Dye's voicemail. They're sent through a file. Let's hear it. I don't ask for much, Zoe, but I am asking It's Penny for this. Henderson. Please don't take me off this dig. Please let me see this through. Why was it so important for you to stay on this dig? After Christopher contacted Zoe about his research, she really wasn't that enthused. It didn't catch her imagination. But it caught yours. Well, I did my PhD thesis on the Milson family. So Zoe was about to kick you off your dream project? It really wasn't like that at all. After I left that message, she called me straight back and we sorted things out. Over a bottle of champagne, perhaps? No, she really didn't do that sort of thing with me. But she did with other people? I wouldn't know. 
I'm sure Zoe valued your discretion, Dr. Henderson. But can I remind you, your employer has been murdered. I really think you should talk to Alex about this. I can't imagine it's easy being married to someone as in demand as your wife. It must have put a great deal of pressure on your relationship. Not at all. No, we thrived on it. We made it work. Ours wasn't simply a marriage, it was a partnership in every sense of the word. Still, your wife was working so hard, you were sleeping in separate rooms. I've explained that. I spoke to your wife's publishers. They informed me that her book about this very dig will be out just in time for Christmas. How is she still able to write this book, given her recent murder? Like I said, we were partners. I would pull together the research and write the rough drafts of her books, and Zoe would give things a polish when she got the chance. For which she took full credit and all the royalties. Doesn't sound like a very fair partnership to me. Well, you don't understand. Well, perhaps you could illuminate a different aspect of your marriage. On the night she died, your wife was sharing a bottle of champagne with somebody. Mr. Dyer, did your wife have a lover? Probably. It wasn't what you... It would have been another one of her flings. Another? It was usually one of the dig assistants. They never meant anything and they never lasted long. At the end of the day, I still loved my wife. And she still loved me. I thought we had all this sorted. What's the problem? Is Bartholomew causing trouble again? I can handle my curate. It's the archaeologists. They've been told they can resume their work. There's still time. They're concentrating all their efforts on the skeleton. It should be out of the ground in a matter of days. Look, I'm not being funny, but this is your problem. I rather think it's our problem, don't you? How close was your relationship with Dr. Dyer? On the night she died, Zoe came up here with a bottle of champagne to celebrate finding Sicily. Were you with her? No. There were two sets of fingerprints on the bottle, Dexter. Now, we could take you down to the station and take your prints, but... <sighs> OK. I was with her. It started out as a fling, but really people didn't understand how much pressure she was under. She just wanted someone she could be herself with. So why did you come up here? To drink the fizz and, uh, well, you know. And then I went back to the campsite. She was fine when I left, honestly. We'll need you to make a formal statement. We'll also need access to your phone and computer. It appears you were the last person to see Zoe Dyer alive. Forty-eight hours. Alex is talking about strip mining, not archaeology. I'm not sure what I can do. Alex has made it clear he thinks I'm only good enough to scrabble around the archives amongst the paper mites and the mouse droppings. Well, he's only good enough to fill out funding applications and write up other people's work. You are twice the historian he will ever be. Thank you. Thank you, that means a lot to me. Without you on site, I... The barbarians are at the gate, and I'm not sure I can hold them back alone. You won't have to. I'll talk to Alex. Alex, I hear you're winding up the dig. I'm not sure there's anything left to say. Look, um, I get that you don't want me around. And yet, here you are. I really care about this project, and if I could see it through, it would mean a lot to me. I've learned so much working with Zoe. Oh, I bet you have. Did she tell you you were talented? That you had a great future in archaeology? Something like that? God, you're just her type. Young, dumb, and easily expendable. Don't let me see you at the site again. Listen, she came on to me. It's not my problem. It's she was my it. wife, you little... Hey! That's enough. Take it outside. And you. So it's fair to say there were tensions at the dig, most of them created by Zoe Dyer. We need to know what brought things to a head. What was the catalyst? I spoke to Zoe's solicitor. 
Three weeks ago, she filed for divorce. Alex stood to lose everything. What about the Nighthawks? Yeah, nothing significant from the people we spoke to at the campsite. But the Milson Horde is infamous. There are loads of theories about its whereabouts. Most of them revolve around this picture, a 15th century portrait of Benedicta Milson, Sicily's mother. The necklace alone could be worth close to a million. Whether real or not, that kind of reward can make people do desperate things. Hello, I'm back. Hi. I thought it was just a wobbly leg. Yeah, well, turns out that wobbly leg was merely symptomatic of a greater structural problem. I see. It's all under control. I didn't doubt it for a second. Wine? Yes, please. You're a history buff. Did you ever come across Zoe Dyer? Yeah, I heard her speak at a conference once. What did you think? Not much. Her books are well written, but uh, in person, she didn't seem very articulate. It's not unusual for someone to express themselves better on the page than in person. Maybe articulate's the wrong word. She, she didn't seem to have a total grasp of the facts. So, was Cam excited? Well, she was at a murder scene, so she wasn't exact... Oh, you mean the boyfriend? She never mentioned him. Interesting. Is it? Well, they haven't seen each other for a while, and he is thinking about moving here. Oh, good. Isn't it? So, what is it you want to talk about? Oh, OK, I'll meet you there. signs of a struggle. I suspect he was incapacitated before the gravestone was pushed onto him. All the hallmarks of Zoe Dyer's murder. Any idea of the time of death? I'd estimate between 9 and 11. Also, the earth is very disturbed around the base of the grave. The stone was very old, easy to push over. I'll get a full report to you as soon as I can. Thanks, Cam. Why on earth was Alex Dyer even in the graveyard? Was he meeting someone? Organise a search of his car and his room at the pub. We need to know what he was up to. Thank you. Reverend Hines, you found the body early this morning. That's right. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite so... Uh... I can only hope that he didn't suffer. What were you doing in the graveyard? Trying to find a little peace. Things get hectic at this time of year. Can you tell me what your movements were yesterday evening? Yes, uh, choir practice ran until about 10 o'clock and then I went straight home. Did you see Alex Dyer in the church grounds at that time or anyone else? No. 
Sorry, didn't realise anyone was in here. We just need to... Go ahead. We want the church looking its best for the Sicily Day services. Although you probably think we should cancel the whole day now. You wanted to cancel Sicily Day? No. I just felt that in light of recent events, it doesn't matter. Peter has spoke. Sir, a word? Thank you, Reverend Hines. Alex Dyer had big plans for Cicely Milson. He was fielding offers from universities all over the world who wanted to invest in the find. Uh, teaching positions, research grants, all generously remunerated. Was he? Our prayers will be given over to the Dyers and their poor families. What a terrible tragedy. I've already contacted the church estate office. They take safety very seriously. I can assure you that Alex Dyer's death was no accident. He was murdered. Where were you last night? At home. I, I had my Sicily Day sermon to write. Can anyone confirm that? No. I was alone. Would you agree that Mr. Dyer's death is convenient for you, Reverend Corby? I don't understand. If it's proven that the skeleton they found is Cicely Milson, then you will have some very uncomfortable questions to answer about who is in your crypt. And I shall answer them happily. Really? Haven't you staked your reputation on the provenance of those bones? Now, it may be that you genuinely believe... It doesn't matter what I believe. That's what you don't understand. All that matters is what they believe. The village believe in Sicily. Peter, is everything OK? Uh, yeah, yes, it is. You don't have to worry, you know. Everything's in hand. It's going to be the best Sicily day yet. I'm sure it is. I need you to tell Jared something. Tell him he's done enough. I'll handle things from here. You understand? Zoe and Alex Dyer were both threatening what Peter holds most dear. But would Peter be bold enough to kill someone on his doorstep? Literally on church grounds? Bold, no. Desperate enough, maybe. And let's not forget the archaeologist. It seems being head of the dig is a dangerous position to hold. I'll find out who's in charge now. Oh, they've uh, downloaded the data from Alex's phone. The last call he received was from the Rose and Chalice. Haven't you got something you should be doing, Noah? You sound like the wife. What do you want me to do? I've tried. Really? It doesn't seem like it to me. I have, Jared. It's all I'm flaming thinking about. We'll both lose out if you don't get a shift on. Make yourself useful. Take that to the village hall. Mr. Horton. See? Anybody could have called him from here. But it wasn't me. Did you speak to Mr. Dyer before he left? Didn't get a chance. He was too busy putting the younger lad in his place. Do you mean Dexter Ingram? Yeah, that's him. It did not look like a fond farewell. Isn't she beautiful? Incredible. I promise you, she's in safe hands now. I know that. Inspector Barnaby, Sergeant. Tragic news. I understand you've assumed leadership of the dig. Reluctantly. We must see this work through. Mr Ingram, can we talk? Yes, You had a row at the pub last night. Alex turned it into an argument. I just wanted to talk. Tell him that I wanted to stay on the dig. After the argument, where did you go? For a walk. Needed to clear my head. Now, perhaps Mr Dyer thought that he should carry out his wife's wishes. What do you mean? We found Zoe's email to you on your computer. She wasn't planning on extending your contract. You were soon going to be out of a job. Did you fall out with Zoe as well? No. That came out of nowhere. I thought I was doing a good job. If I'd known the other stuff was going to affect my career, I... Well, you're still here, despite being given your marching orders not once, but twice. Of course, both people who tried to terminate your employment have ended up being terminated themselves. And it seems you were the last person to see both of them alive. 
world of archaeological study has lost two important advocates. And I have lost two dear friends. And gained control of a dig and a historical artifact that's very desirable. Personal gain is of so little interest to me, it's inconsequential. I find that hard to believe. If you're looking for someone who has gained from Zoe and Alex's death, you need look no further than my brother. How do you mean? He knows that his pernicious lies are about to be exposed, and he will do anything to delay the inevitable. So when Alex died, so that Peter could protect his secret. Well, be assured, the storm clouds are gathering. So far, they haven't managed to find any prints. Just like the burglar at the dig. The night hawks strike again? It's possible. Mr. Corby. I have to hand it to him. He has surpassed himself this time, really hit me where it hurts. Do you mean your brother? Who else? Mr. Corby, do you have any evidence it was him? No, of course not. And you won't find any. He always knew how to cover his tracks. Who else would have wanted my research? to me as fast as you can, all right? This is a disgraceful attack on everything we hold dear in Midsummer Sicily. An outrage, time to cause maximum distress. We'll do everything we can to bring the culprit to justice, Reverend Corbin. Then I suggest you pay my brother a visit. Well, funny you should say that. He said the same thing about an incident at his house. I'll need to speak to you later. A busy morning. First a burglary and now an act of mindless vandalism. I'm not sure it was mindless or vandalism. Well, they took out the memorial, but I think they were after what was underneath it, and they brought in some heavy machinery to do it. Tractor tires? 
Yes, coming from the direction of Hannah Dewsborough's farm. Now, I also found this. I'll take it in and see what Cam makes of it. So, is this more Nighthawk activity? Or someone wanting to wreck Peter's Sicily Day celebrations? Brothers at war. Let me know what Cam has to say about your find. I'm going to speak to a lady about a tractor. Why, thank you. Leave it with me, I'll see what I can do. Oh, uh, by the way, when's the big match? Last night. Ah, oh, I take it your new opponent won? No, I did. Straight sets. It's just... he's a terrible loser. Unlike you. Down here, Mum. Jared! Oh, God, Jared. What's going on? It's gone. It's all gone. You've got to do something. They've gone and dug it up. Morning, Ms. Dewsborough. Not joining the Sicily Day celebrations. Oh. Missed it again, have I? Silly me. <laughs> We've already had a little bit of excitement. Someone dug up the Sicily Memorial last night. Good. Ugly thing. Nevertheless, it's not far from here. I wondered whether you'd seen or heard anything late last night. No. Didn't hear a thing. Well, that surprises me. Whoever attacked the memorial used some pretty heavy-duty equipment. I'm sure you're familiar with the noise that agricultural vehicles make. You've obviously got some yourself. I've just been on to your lot. What do you mean? My digger. It was nicked from the bottom field yesterday. Bring it back when you find it. It looks like whoever dug up the memorial used Hannah Dewsborough's digger. She's reported it stolen. Anything interesting? Maybe. This isn't the first time All Souls has been at the centre of a police investigation. Or Peter Corby, for that matter. How so? Uh, the previous vicar, Reverend James, was nearly killed interrupting a burglary back in 02. An altar set was stolen. A chalice, some candlesticks. Were there any arrests? None. Reverend James retired soon after and never identified his attacker. How long was that before Peter found Sicily? Uh, a few months. Oh, dig out the old case files. Sure. Oh, and um, I spoke to the choir master. Yes? Bartholomew Hines. He didn't show up for the choir practice he claimed to be attending whilst Alex Dyer was being murdered. So he gave us a false alibi. I'd love to know why. spending Sicily Day together. Maybe even us, you know. Reverend Hines, is there somewhere we can talk? Of course. Uh, yeah, I'll bring a couple more crates up. We're gonna need them. Spoken to the bishop, he described your feelings towards Sicily Day as bordering on the obsessive. I didn't touch the memorial. I was heartbroken when I saw what happened to Mrs. Horton's roses. 
I was at home all night. In the same way that you were at choir practice the night that Alex Dyer was killed? In other words, not at all. So where were you on the night of Alex's murder? I was at home, alone. So you don't have anyone who can corroborate that? Unfortunate in a murder inquiry. I was with Rhiannon Sawney. Am I to assume that you and Mrs. Sawney weren't meeting for Bible study? No, we were not. How long were you together? An hour or so. She had to go home before... Before her husband missed her. Doesn't that make you something of a hypocrite? I'm sorry? Well, you've been calling the bishop's office on a regular basis to complain about Reverend Corby's conduct, and all the while you're... I will freely admit to my sins. Not that freely. Reverend Corby is selective in his application of the Bible. Lying is also a sin, gentlemen. And in closing, I, I, I would just like to say thank you to everyone who made this a very special Sicily's day, despite some attempts to ruin it. As ever, you rose to the challenge and showed them that we are made of much sterner stuff. <laughs> I think we did the great lady proud once again. And now, light the fire, represents the burning faith that Sicily displayed throughout her incarceration. my research. How could you? Christopher, are you quite all right? You, d you think this has stopped me? You think this has stopped the truth coming here? Oh, Christopher, you've been under a dreadful amount of stress. Why don't we find the ladies to make you a nice cup of tea? This is what he does. This is what he always does. The innocent act. And it's always worked for him. It worked at school. It worked with mother. Look, 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 look. Look, look how it works with you idiots. We'll find... You worship at the altar of Peter Corby. I hope you're not too damn disappointed when I show him up for the fraud and the charlatan that I know he is. Burn, burn it all. I've got Sicily. The real Sicily. Peter. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. I just... How dare he? I just feel so very sorry for him. Christopher, I can't tell you how sorry I was to hear about the break-in. Did they really take... They? He? My fanatical brother. Really? I can't begin to imagine how you must be feeling. I am absolutely fine. If anything, the research was getting in my way. And there is plenty of new data that needs my attention. Of course, and if there's anything we can do to help... Let's start with the dig records. This can wait. Pack up everything we've got so far, bring it to my house. As soon as possible. You heard him? Yes. I was with Bartholomew. But I couldn't stay long. I was there about an hour. And after that? I went straight home. Would your husband be able to confirm that? No, he was out. Thank you, Mrs. Sawney. You have to understand. We resisted our feelings for as long as we could. But as Bartholomew says, the Lord saw fit to put us in each other's paths. Who are we to question him? Still, I assume Reverend Hines would prefer it if your relationship was kept secret. We're waiting for the right moment. It's not been easy, the waiting. But when he loves someone, you'll do anything for them, won't you?
I thought I'd better return these. I don't think I'll be needing them again. Oh, really? I heard you've been a worthy opponent for Cam. More like a moving target for her serve. I pity her latest victim. Well, maybe she'll go easy on him. Wouldn't want to spoil their week. You know who she's been playing? Yeah. Didn't John say? Harry's visiting. Boyfriend's here. Oh. Well, these will definitely be surplus to requirements then. Bye. What? Dinner's in ten. things I must do. I know. But every time I look at Noah's stupid face, even the way he breathes annoys me. I just... I don't know how much longer I... I know. I know. Couldn't be more pleased. <laughs> Trust me, this find is huge. The bones are nothing. We are talking about a fortune in medieval times. 16th century family fortune. God knows what it's worth now. And I believe there's something even better to be had. A stuff of bestsellers. There's no one to say any more over the telephone. Um, can I come to the office? Excellent. Tomorrow, then. Cleaner found him first thing this morning. The murder weapon was a 16th century pike, part of the victim's own collection. Historically appropriate, I suppose. There's no evidence the victim was incapacitated this time. He was attacked from behind. One decisive penetrating blow done without hesitation. Well, perhaps in anger? Perhaps it would have taken some force. The other murders were planned. The victims were lured to the scene. And this was spontaneous. Done on the fly with what came to hand. You think our killers become desperate? Maybe. I certainly think they'll be on the move now. We need these packed up and brought to the station. No problem. Apparently, the Corby brothers had a bit of an exchange of views at the Sicily Day celebrations yesterday. Was it a heated exchange? Sounds like it. It was around the bonfire. I always thought there'd be a chance. A chance for us to put the past behind us. Behave like brothers again. Is that so? Nothing I wanted more. He accused you of burning his research. How would that bring about this rapprochement? A wild accusation. You weren't escalating the conflict with tit-for-tat acts of aggression, then? What do you mean? He debunks your holy relic. You steal his research. He ruins Sicily Day, so you go to his house. No. 
What did you do after your clash? I admit I had to calm down, and that's exactly what I did. I took a moment of prayer. With your permission, one of our officers will be taking your fingerprints and a DNA sample, Reverend Corby. Why? Because anyone who questions your story about Sicily's remains is not long for this world. Moving on, Dr. Henderson. Oh, everyone's pretty spooked. We just want to get finished up as soon as we can. You've heard about Christopher Corby. All I want to do now is honour Christopher's work. This find is all down to him. What happens to the remains you found here? Uh, well, Exeter University has the best storage facilities, so I'll take her there myself. Christopher was examining the dig records on the night he was murdered. Do you know why? Well, he was probably trying to get up to speed. Christopher was meticulous. It's hard to catalogue properly without them. I'm afraid they've been taken from the scene as evidence. I understand. You'll need to keep us informed of your whereabouts while the investigation is active. Of course. All right, guys. I'll do the rest. Out again. That won't be long. I don't suppose you're going to tell me where you're going. No. You don't need to know. This place is crawling with police. We've had Anna Dewsbury turn up. I think I do need to know. Just know that I'm doing this for the business. For us. I've heard it all before now. So much of this case seems to centre around Peter Corby and the bones in his crypt. Do you want me to go and cast an eye over them? Yes, thank you. I'll go later. Also, I've got an update on that piece of fabric you dropped off. It's linen. It was hand-embroidered, but with synthetic silks. And I found traces of silver. Could it have been part of an altar cloth? Like the one that was stolen from All Souls in the attack back in 02? It's possible. There were also traces of blood. I got two DNA samples and a database hit on both. The first one was a Reverend Wilfred James, now deceased. The victim? And the other? Jared Horton. So it was the stolen altar set hidden under the memorial? Evidence that links Jared to the attack on Reverend James. Why conceal it unless he was responsible for the assault? And if Zoe Dyer's find was actually verified, it was only going to get worse. The village would become a magnet for people digging into the past. He didn't say where he was going. And even if he did... Don't you think it's time you stopped covering for your son? He didn't have anything to do with the murders. Well, unless you tell me where he is, I only have your word for that. Sir, in the cellar, part of the stolen altar set. Mrs Horton, you're only going to make things worse for Jared. We know about the attack on Reverend James. You wanted to talk? Let's talk. I need you at Milson Woods and fast. You're looking for Jared Horton. Be careful. He may be violent. Is there really any need for all this? We're old friends. We just need to talk. Oh, really? What sort of conversation were you thinking of having? I just need you to give it back, mate. Really, you don't know what you're dealing with. Oh, I do. I know exactly what this is. And whose blood it is.
proceed with caution. Colston Beer Festival. I remember that day. It was a good one. Started out all right. How many pints do you reckon we had between us? Too many. Do you know the other reason that day sticks in my mind? It was the day the church got done over and the old vicar got his head stoved in. Must have been a right mess. Guess you banked on no one finding this. Whoa! <laughs> Easy. So, between old friends, how much is this T-shirt worth to you and dear old Valerie? Careful, Mr. Ward. <laughs> you could hurt someone. Can't just abandon Jared now. We all have to pay for our sins, whether it be in this life or the next. He's not the only sinner, though, is he? Understand this. I will do everything within my power to protect Sicily and this church. I see that. I've got officers searching your campsite. Care to place a bet on what they'll find? A metal detector, perhaps? Like I said before, it's not a crime. True, but theft, criminal damage and blackmail are. Oh. You must be exhausted, Mr. Sawney. You've been working all hours. When do you sleep? I don't much. And will our search recover the items stolen from the dig site? That was Jared's idea. Really? He wanted it made clear that the archaeologists weren't welcome. He was paying me to scare them off. Make their equipment disappear, that sort of thing. Jared Horton didn't ask you to dig this up, though, did he? No. That was my idea. I got chatting to some of the blokes on the side about the hoard and all that. So I bought myself a metal detector. Cost me a bloody fortune. Went all over the village, not a peep. Until I tried the Sicily Memorial. And you were so eager to get to your find, you stole Hannah Dewsbury's ditch digger. But instead of the hoard, you dug up the altar set. Still thought I could make a bit of money. And then him from the dig turns up and threatens to turn me in. Who? Dexter Ingram? He took it off me. All that digging in the dark, and where do I end up? In a hole. We need to speak to Dexter Ingram again. I did it. I finally did it. It must have been an uncomfortable feeling. All that digging going on when you literally had a secret buried in the village. No comment. We have DNA evidence linking you to the attack on Reverend James and the burglary of the church. And Noah Sawney has told us about your scheme to get rid of the archaeologists. Just how determined were you? Yeah, what I can't figure out, though, is why you would attack Reverend James. You and your mother lived with him, didn't you? How does she fit in? She had nothing to do with this. She provided a false statement. Reverend James treated her like a skiv. He spoke to her like one, too. Should have heard the way he spoke to her that night. Supposed to be a man of God. I was young. I was angry. I lost it. I... Next thing I remember, I'm standing over him with a candlestick in my hand. I'm covered in blood. Mum freaked out, started screaming. And that's when Peter came in. And what was his reaction? Calm. Perfect calm. He called the ambulance and told the police there'd been a robbery. It was his idea to hide the altar set when the rosebud was dug. He said he needed help with a project. I couldn't say no. So we buried the stuff, and he made out we'd unearthed Sicily's bones. He told me he needed me to back up his story the way he'd backed up mine. The story about him finding Sicily. I thought you'd be happy. I thought this was what you wanted. What I want is my own parish. And if you knew how close I was, you wouldn't be trying to ruin things for me. Ruin things? 
You said you loved me. I love all my congregation, Rhiannon. And how many of them have you slept with? I am not going to let you do this. Not when the truth about Peter is so close to coming out. Because that's all I have to do. Expose that supercilious old fraud for what he really is. He's not the only fraud about to be exposed, believe me. Jared's been charged with the assault on Reverend James, but I doubt he's behind these murders. We're missing something. What else have we got? Plenty. These are the items stolen from the dig site and recovered at Noah Sawney's premises. Also, I spoke to the British Archaeological Society. According to them, Dexter Ingram looks like this. So who's our Dexter Ingram? Well, his fingerprints are on the champagne bottle. I ran them through the system. Turns out he's got previous. He's not an archaeologist. He's a nighthawk. We need to find him. Put a call out. I already have them. I'll see how they're getting on. Tell me, Nelson, where have we seen this before? It's the lock from the chest in the Milson painting. She said that. Well, you can assure the bishop it's nothing to worry about. She's a very vulnerable member of my congregation who has some mental health issues. I understand. Whatever you think is appropriate. Do give my best to... I'm sorry, can I help you? I'm with the police, Dr Carrymore. I'm a forensic pathologist. I need access to the remains of Cicely Milson. Of course. I think I know where Reverend Corby keeps the key. Great. Follow me. was found on the same day that Cicely Milson was unearthed. Dexter Ingram logged it as unidentified metal object. It's vague enough for it not to attract any attention. But it clearly did. The academic work on the hoard centred on the location of the jewellery box. Find it and you find the treasure. Someone clearly recognised its significance. Or found where it came from. Either way, the Milson hoard was discovered. Someone's trying to keep that secret. Well, Zoe Dyer evidently found out, as did Alex Dyer and Christopher Corby. And it cost them their lives. I think we need to get back to the dig site. himself Dexter Ingram. Yes, arrange for backup to meet us there. Anyone left on site? So you should see this. Someone's bashed the door in. So what happened here? Nelson. Sir, uniform have Dexter Ingram. He was trying to leave by a back road. The remains are female. However, the discoloration suggests the skeleton cannot have been in the ground for more than a hundred years. 
Certainly not 500. What do you think you're doing? You really shouldn't be here. There's only the stolen altar set. The one Noah dug up. What? The Milson hoard. <laughs> There's no such thing. Then why go to the trouble of assuming someone else's identity and conning your way onto the dig? Believe me, I've asked myself that question. You really don't know? Know what? Unidentified metal object? Sorry, I don't... You discovered the location of the hoard. What do you mean? If that was unwitting on your part, then I need to know who did recognise its significance. I don't believe it. Do you know Penny Henderson's whereabouts? No, I've not seen her. I've... I've seen her car, though. What do you mean? She wasn't driving it. Reverend Corby was. Like a lunatic, he nearly ran me off the road. Caution him and get him to the station. The charge is receiving stolen goods. He's just a small-time thief. We need to track down Dr Henderson. I'm not doing this for me, you understand. I'm doing it for the village. For everyone. Especially after the Reverend James, he drove so many people away. But I've changed all that. It's a red Volvo estate. The driver is a Reverend Peter Corby. But we also need to know the whereabouts of the car's owner, Penelope or Penny Henderson. Can you issue that now? Right, sir. OK, I'll hold. Why would he steal Penny Henderson's car? He's not stealing the car, he's stealing what's in it. The bones? He's going to swap them for the ones he's got in his crypt. Yeah, yeah. Cam said she was heading over there. Sir? Yes, I'm still here. It was Henderson, was it, sir? Yeah, that's right, Henderson. That's not the name I've got. So who is the car's registered owner? The name I've got is Milson. The village will be lost without her. Cicely is what they need. And now I can give her to them again. Get away from the box, Dr Henderson. It's fine. I said leave the box alone. And you've double-checked? You're sure? OK. I'll need a copy sent through. Thank you. It's as we thought. The birth certificate confirms it. I've waited years for this moment. My whole yes. career has been spent searching. Cicely must be given the resting place she deserves. She belongs with me. People today need more than faith. They demand proof. This is where she belongs. Don't you dare. Give it to me now! I don't think so. <gasps> this man is a thief. But he's not a killer, is he? Oh. Oh. You're an intelligent woman, Dr Henderson. You must know that this is not a good idea. I only want what's in the box, and then I'll go. I can't allow that to happen. I'm only taking what is rightfully mine. Your birthright? Yes. How did you...? Your real name is Milson. You didn't write your thesis on the Milsons out of academic interest. You wanted to study your family. But I imagine that was very upsetting. Upsetting? Finding out your ancestors were persecuted, tortured, killed and exiled. Just a little. Still, there was the chance of a happy ending for the uh, remaining Milson. The family fortune. When did you realise it was real? When I read Christopher's research. He really was a very talented historian. And then, of course, Zoe exploited him. Just like everyone else. Like she exploited you. Except this time it was going to be different. She could have the bones and the glory. This time, I was going home with the real find, and she would be none the wiser. But things didn't go to plan. Was that thanks to Dexter's find? <laughs> no. I interviewed Dexter. I knew he wasn't an archaeologist. Still, 
He was pretty enough to keep Zoe out of my way. But that backfired. She called me. Told me she'd found something extraordinary. So I told her I'd come straight away, just like I always did. I couldn't let her have it. But even with her out of the way... Alex should have left the dig to me. He hated getting his hands dirty, so... When he started talking about expanding the dig, I knew he knew. And then there was just Christopher between you and your family's fortune. I was going to tell him. Christopher was a true historian. He understood how important it was that things were kept in their proper place. Trust me, this one. But it seems he was just like all the others. The bones. We are talking about a fortune in medieval times. 16th century family fortune. God knows what it's worth now. Millions. <laughs> you killed my brother. You burned his research. Philistine, what do you think you're doing? No! 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 I've got her. No! She's secure. Nelson Horde. So many people in this village trying to live a lie. It doesn't matter how deep you bury it, the truth will out. Oh, Cam, we'll see to it that the remains are properly taken care of. Yes, and we'll make sure the fake Sicily is reburied somewhere appropriate. Hopefully, they won't be disturbed this time. They'll be worried for a moment, huh? Seem to have found my form. I hope you don't mind losing for a change. Not in the slightest. I'm just enjoying the game. Have they declared a truce? Yeah, peace in our time. <laughs> oh, by the way, Harry's moved to Causton is off. Well, that's a shame. Isn't it? 